Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in Python. In this video lecture, we'll consider the question explain the following with examples. 1. Is alpha, is al in um, is space. So these are the string methods, we'll consider them in detail. Let me consider the first one, is alpha. The is alpha method returns true if the string consists only of letters and is not blank. Uh, to get the true out of this, uh, the string should contain only the letters. If there are letters along with the numbers, I would get false as the answer. If there are numbers, I would still get false as the answer. And if it is blank, I would get false as the answer. To get this true, it should contain only of letters. To understand this much better, we'll enter the following into the interactive shell. Uh, yes, this is the interactive shell of Python. Here, let me consider the demonstration of is alpha string method. First, uh, let me consider only the letters. Let me just type hello. This is the string dot is alpha. Is alpha. So this is the string method. If I press enter, I should get true for this because the string contains only letters. So let me check this. Let me press enter. Yes, here I'm getting uh, the true as the output. Let me consider uh, the next string. Hello, one, two, three. Dot is alpha. So what would be the output for this? I don't get true here, I would get false as the answer because it contains letters along with the numbers. So hence I would get false. Let me consider another case. Let me just uh, consider 1, 2, 3 dot is alpha. So as this contains the numbers, I should get false as the answer. And let me consider a string which is of blank is alpha. So as per the definition of is alpha, I should get again false for this uh, string empty string yes I'm getting so this is the demonstration of the string method is alpha yes moving on further let me consider the second string method that is is al num the definition of this goes like this the is al num method returns true if the string consists only of letters and numbers and is not blank so as per the definition, it should contain either letter or number and or if it can contain both letters and numbers, it is well and good, but it should not be blank. So this is the definition of is al num. It should contain alphabets or numbers and if it can, it, it can contain both, still it is good, but it cannot be of blank. To understand this much better, we'll enter the following into the interactive shell. Yes, in this interactive shell, let me consider the demonstration of is al num string method. First, let me consider a string which has both alphabets and numbers, which is hello123 dot is al num. So this is uh, the demonstration of is al num string method. If I press enter, I should get true because the string has both alphabets as well as numbers. Yes, this is what we are getting. So now let me consider uh, another string which is of only the alphabets. Dot is al num. What must be the answer? The answer must be true because it can have letters and numbers. So here only letters are there. Still I would get true for this. Yes, we can see here. Let me consider another case where it can have only the numbers. 1, 2, 3 dot is al num. What must be the output of this? I should get still true because it can uh, also contain the numbers or the numbers only. If I press enter, I'm getting true as the answer. So let me consider another case where the string is blank and I'm testing this for is al num. What must be the answer? Here I would get false as the answer as per the definition of is al num. Am I getting that? Yes, I'm getting the answer as false. This is the demonstration of is al num string method. Now let me consider the third string method which is is space. The definition of this goes like the is space method returns true if the string consists only of spaces, tabs and new lines and is not blank. That means it can contain only spaces, tabs and new lines. 
to understand this much better we'll enter the following into the interactive shell in this interactive shell let me consider the demonstration of is space string method so let me consider a string which contains only the spaces dot is space so this is the string method if i press enter i should get true as the answer because it contains spaces so as i'm getting uh, true this is as per the definition of is space string method thank you so much for watching if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts